Hello, everyone. This is Sam from Dicalo. My position is after sales engineer, teacher of the DEA. A lot of time when we walk on the street, we see some screen is like that. Oh, sometimes it's like that. So, what we can do to fix this problem? Okay, in this courseware, I will show you how to fix this problem in Noah Star. Okay, first we need to run the software Nova ACT. Nova ACT. And in the same time, we can see uh, in this place, we can see the screen right here. We use the camera to the screen, and the screen connect to my computer. Yeah, it's connected to my computer. You can see, yes. And we also can see this cabinet have different brightness. This cabinet and that screen is come from four cabinet, two by two, two by two cabinet. So have one cabinet different brightness than other. Okay. The software we need uh, to log in the software. Log in the software and the password is six six six. And and uh, in the software we need to click the calibration. We need to use the, the calibration to adjust the, this the brightness. Okay, clean calibration. Uh, in the first, in the first, we need to choose. We need to turn on the calibration function. Normally, we use this one. Normally, we use this one. If you, if we choose the disable, it's turn off the calibration function. But we need to use the calibration to calibrate this cabinet, the brightness or the color. So we need to choose this one. We need to turn on the calibration and the clean save. Okay, safe, successful. And uh, in the manage coefficient, in the manage coefficient, in this page, we need to click adjust coefficient. Okay, click this one. Because in the screen, it is come from four cabinets, two by two. In the software, also we can see it, can, it, it is automatic, it is automatic. Okay, under this cabinet, this cabinet have a different brightness. It's a little bit higher than other. So we need to choose this one. We need to choose this one. The calibration just can be decent brightness. Cannot make the brightness higher. So we need to adjust this one, not the other three. Just for this one. Okay, choose this cabinet and click, click next and the next. Okay, just a moment. Okay, right now, right now we can see the screen is show white, and this cabinet brightness is high than other. Also, we can adjust from the software direct from here. But we don't know, we don't know how uh, how many we need to adjustment. So we need uh, we can use the another advanced adjustment. Okay, we change it back. We change it back and uh, use the advanced adjuster right here advanced adjustment okay right now we can see the screen show red also we click green and the blue it will be show one by one and we can adjust the one by one okay right now this this cabinet brightness it's a little bit higher than other so Brightness is this one. Okay, we descend the brightness for the rate. Actually, how many we need to adjustment? I don't know. We can see we can see by eyes for the screen. We, we use the eyes to watch the screen. We adjustment, then watch the screen. It is okay or no. And right now we can see the brightness a little bit lower. A little bit lower. So we need adjustment a little bit high. Okay, a little bit higher. Right now looks much better. Right now looks much better. And sometimes, and right now the read is okay. But sometimes, sometimes the brightness is the same. Just the, the color is different. The color is different. We can use the another two 
another two they adjust the bar for example just for example yes also it's a rate but a different rate different rate yeah in the rate we can add some green for example yeah also it's a rate but it is a little different and in this case, in this case, in this cabinet, it's no have the color different, just the brightness different. So we just need to adjust the, the brightness. And if sometimes if you have screen, it's come from two different batches. It will be have different brightness and different color. So you need to adjust the uh, uh, brightness and the color. Yeah, you need to adjust uh, both. Okay, we can we adjust it back. It, the default uh, value is fifteen. Okay. And right now the read is looks okay. Okay, we go to the green. Green looks the brightness much more than other cabinets so we need to adjust the, the green brightness we just try maybe it's not enough and right now we can see it is not enough it is change but not enough we need uh, to adjust them more okay more how about uh, right now yeah right now looks okay right now looks same this cabinet same than other same with the other okay right now the green is okay okay the last one blue the blue yeah blue is different okay checking the blue still uh, looks same looks same but uh, still a little bit higher a little bit higher okay we adjust a little bit But uh, it looks it looks okay. But uh, when I when, when I used uh, eyes to watch the screen, it is it is still a little bit higher. So we need to keep it just a little bit. If we use the eyes to watch the screen, will be better because the camera to the screen is not uh, not much how to say um, not much uh, correct. Okay, right now it looks okay. Okay, we can see uh, yellow, yellow, this cabinet with other cabinets. Yeah, looks same. Other color, how about other color? Okay, white. Yeah, looks uh, looks a little bit red. The, the, the red still a little bit different. So, yeah, yeah, we can see the red still a little bit different. Okay, a little bit uh, Low, the red color. Okay, we we test it again. White. Right now looks looks same. Yeah, right now looks same. Okay, then we can click next and save. The coefficient will be safe in the. Receive card inside. Even you send the configuration file, even you send the RCFG file, even you do the screen connection, it will be safe in the inside of the receiving car. It, it, it is okay. Uh, and sometimes, and sometimes it's not cabinet, just for one module. How we can do it by one module? Okay, first uh, we need uh, we, we, we clean, we reset the calibration. We reset calibration this cabinet okay for example just uh, one module just uh, one module is different brightness how we can do okay just a moment okay and the save to hardware we clean we clean the calibration that in the software in the software okay return also in this in this pattern adjustment adjust the coefficient and uh, we know in this page it choose is by one cabinet it's choose by cabinet so if we need to adjust uh, by module 
by module, we need to choose the select uh, by pixel. Select uh, by pixel. So this this screen, this screen, we need to know the position. For example, we need to adjust uh, one module from here. Uh, this cabinet is come from four module, four module. So for example, we need to adjust uh, this module. This module, the position is uh, uh, because that is 2.9. Every cabinet, the resolution is 168. So uh, x, that is x 168. And uh, every module, every module, the resolution is 84 by 84. Because cabinet is 168 by 168. So the module is 84 by 84. Okay, that is mean this module. Is this module. We choose uh, the position x position, y position, and uh, we need to adjust uh, the uh, module, the size, the resolution. Okay, next. Still next. Okay. Right now we need to use the advanced uh, adjustment. Okay, rate. First is rate. And right now we can see only this module is changed. Only this module is changed. Okay, still a little bit higher. Right now looks a little bit uh, lower. We need to adjust uh, to a little bit high. Looks same. Okay. Green, go to the green. Okay, green. Just for this module. Yeah, just for this module. This is one module. We input the position, the module of the the position of the module and the module the resolution. So it is changed by this module, just for this module. A little bit high. Okay, right now looks much better. Okay, blue. Yes, just for this model. A little bit lower. We need a little bit higher. Okay, looks much better. We test the other colors. Okay, yellow. This model looks same with the other. And other color, yes, it is okay. Other one, okay, it's okay. And the white, okay. Right now, this module is it just the uh, same with other cabinet with other module. Okay, right now, we click next and save. Then, clean finish. That is all for the uh, manually manually calibration the module the cabinet. The, it is very useful for the screen because a lot of time in the streets we see the screen because we change the spare part the module. So the spare part the module the brightness will be higher than other. So we need to use the, the software to fix this problem like before uh, we see the picture. So. Use the adjust the coefficient, then module or cabinet to adjust the then stiff inside of the receiving car. Then okay. And right now, this part is uh, finished. Thank you.